Here we are next to a pair of PET computers. Uh, would you like to uh, tell us a bit about these units? Sure. The uh, Commodore PET was made by Commodore. Commodore was one of the biggest computer companies in the 80s. And the original PET uh, had quite a distinctive look to it. Uh, also used a cassette unit, audio cassette, for its storage. Right. So although later on you could get a disk drive for it, uh, that's actually how you stored your programs. And of course the keyboard on this looks absolutely terrible. What we have to remember is Commodore was truly a business machines company before they made computers. And what they made was calculators. So they actually used some of the key uh, units from their calculators. They also made their housing out of metal because they used to make filing cabinets. And so the president said, you have to use our own stuff when you're making all these things. So that's why this, this cabinet's made of metal. They originally planned on making it plastic, but in the end it went to metal, which actually worked out better for Commodore, but that's another story. Uh, but yeah, then they're actually using this audio cassette for storage. Now, that was the beginning of the PET series back in 1977. Uh, in 1981, the pinnacle of our Super PET, and the Super PET was co-designed by the University of Waterloo. It actually has two processors in it, and um, there's a special board in this one actually that allows you to run OS 9. And OS 9 is an operating system that's significant to you and to I, and you don't even realize it probably. It's the operating system that the space shuttle uses. Now, what's interesting about that operating system is that it can be patched in real time. So, if you can imagine a scenario right now, you're on the space shuttle, you're an astronaut, you're in the middle of space, and all of a sudden, suddenly you have to restart your computer because of an update. Now, I don't know about you, but if I was running Windows up there, I'd be a little bit worried about somebody restarting the operating system of the shuttle while I'm up there. So, the nice thing about OS 9 is it actually can be patched in real time. And so, this really is the, the pinnacle of the PET series. Uh, we actually uh, were lucky to have this one. It was actually donated by someone locally, and they also brought their receipt with them. And uh, pretty interesting, $3,000 uh, for this computer in 1981. And so in today's dollars, uh, roughly we'll say that's probably at least $5,000. So uh, I don't know, too many people can imagine spending $5,000 on a computer today, but uh, certainly back in 1981, that wasn't uncommon. So Super Pet, uh, it's a great machine. Yeah.